The advanced biosensor is really a way to treat and evaluate what people feel as pain. It's really the next frontier of healthcare. I'm a medical massage therapist. I've been in medical practice for over 36 years. I use my hands to find, feel, and fix pain. Pain is a big problem because it's underdiagnosed and undertreated. 44 people are dying every day from the opiate overdose crisis on prescription opiates. 100 million Americans suffer from chronic pain, costing us $635 billion a year problem in the U.S. Half of that is represented by musculoskeletal pain, mostly from injuries. 1.7 billion people suffer worldwide. So what causes pain is inflammation. Inflammation is our body's response to cell damage from impact, repetitive use, or a sliver. The sliver comes out. What about inflammation that doesn't come out through the hole that the body creates to exit it? The inflammatory responses can be measured objectively with hands. How can we take what our hands feel during clinical palpation and make an objective sensor? I married together a number of scientifically recognized sensors, including the measurement of temperature, sound, sweat, and pressure. These devices are all FDA approved devices, thermography, algometry, electrodiagnosis, and sound. We take that and marry it with a patient response module that allows the patient to also rate their pain on a scale of one to 10. That is then collected, recorded, or outcomes measures over time. How do we treat pain? Simply apply pressure like I do as a therapist. Pressure reduces inflammation on contact and restores blood flow reflexively and locally where it's applied. We can take these sensors, marry them together. All five of these devices are displayed, displayed on the doctor's device. It's a point of care device in the office or a remote patient pain monitoring device. When you look at the device all together, this is what the current prototype looks like. The points are mapped out as acupoints, so they're easy to find. The consumer model is one that we can launch right away through crowdfunding as a wellness device and then go for low hanging fruit like the veterinary and chiropractic market. There's also hospital markets where children in pain aren't being measured. The real problem is, is we need some measurement of pain, some data, some collection imaging device. Towards this end, we're looking at SBIR grants from people like uh, the NIH and their SBIR. We're working with Lindy Sadat from the New Jersey Institute of Technology, Dr. Richard Ehrman from Harvard Medical School, and we're also working with uh, Jennifer Curtin. We've already got USA patents issued, milestones we hope to reach in the next while are our FDA application by Joyce Hendricks, a specialist in that area, launch on Indiegogo, it has to make modifications to our current prototype, and then secure distributors that we've already communicated with. Uh, rate of return on investment is expected within two to five years. I'm selling 10 units a year, a uh, day, sorry, at 300 units, um, $300 per unit, and that would be a 40% rate of return on investment. And we would like to exit to a large company like Medtronic, a big pain company that is already dealing with this. And in the next uh, two to three years, what we're hoping to again launch an Indiegogo. Then we are going to get the diagnostic version, FDA approved, do our SBIR grants, and launch our medical device as a diagnostic and treatment outcomes measurement. It's also capable of being a wearable device to do home health care treatment and monitoring as a self-help wearable. That's all I have to say. Great. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much. The uh, $500,000